Hello everybody. Good morning. It's early in the morning for me. It's like 6.30. So I'm up getting ready for work. But I wanted to share something with y'all. Oh, and my head is busted, so I haven't done anything to it. I've just got my makeup on and my clothes. I'm finna do my hair and my daughter's hair in a minute. But I wanted to share something with y'all, okay? Yesterday, I was watching a movie called Drunken Tai Chi. And as I was watching Drunken Tai Chi, I kept seeing this face. Because I love martial arts. For those of you who know me, I love martial arts, you know. So I was watching this movie. I kept saying, this little guy in this movie looks so freaking familiar. And I kept looking and looking. And I ended up Googling the movie to find out that it was Donnie Yen back in 1984. So I'm like, what? Because I'm a huge fan of the movies, the martial arts movies, where they speak first and then their mouth moves later. Like They're like, I'm going to avenge my brother today. <laughs> so anyways, I looked it up. It's in 1984, Drunken Tai Chi, Donnie Yen. So, okay, I'm looking up, you know, information on Donnie Yen because I, I love me some Donnie Yen to, you know, figure out if that was his first movie. And it didn't necessarily say it was his first movie, but it did say that he had been doing martial arts for a very long time. He learned, learned it from his mother, who just so happens to be uh, a Tai Chi grandmaster, and she does other types of martial arts. And his father is was a, I think, a news reporter or something like that. But anyway, so at the bottom, it says that uh, of the, the biography that I read says that Donnie Yen is proficient in breakdancing and hip hop. So I was like, what? And as soon as I discovered this on the Internet, there is a dance break in the movie where Donnie Yen is pretending to be a puppet. And he goes out and he, you know does this like puppet dance and this break dance and he's like spinning then homeboy breaks out with the moonwalk and i was like donnie yen doing the moonwalk in 1984 and i had to think about it when did the moonwalk come out i had to look it up the moonwalk came out and was debuted uh on the motown special by michael jackson for his solo album uh he did billy jean and he did the moonwalk in 1983 so a year later donnie yen had perfected the moonwalk and was doing it in 1984 on this movie. So then I started thinking, where did the moonwalk come from? Because I just wanted to confirm that, you know, Michael Jackson didn't steal it from, you know, Donnie Yen or some other uh, martial artist. So then I started doing my research on finding out the origins of the moonwalk. Okay, so I'm finishing up my hair whatever so i'm gonna talk to y'all because i really don't have a lot of time to vlog you know during the daytime because i like i said i do work and when i get off of work i'm cooking and getting my kids together with their homework and things like that so anyway um yeah so i looked on the internet at the origins of the moonwalk and, of course, you know, Michael Jackson had never said that he created the moonwalk off the top of his head. He always let y'all let people know that when all of his dance moves had origins uh, from famous dancers, famous uh, performers from the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 80s, and beyond. Uh, because I think he was born in, what, 1950? 1950? No. Michael Jackson was born in 1950 five or 1956 so a lot of people that he got a chance to see on tv you know were people who had been performing since the 30s 40s you know in the 50s etc so he mimicked a lot of his dance moves and behaviors and whatnot uh from these people so the first person who came up as far as um the origin of the moonwalk was cab calloway and i was like first of all Cab Calloway, as I understand it, <laughs> is a distant cousin of mine. Shout out to all of the Calloways. Shout out to all of the Calloways all over the world, mostly in my home area and out west, because I think I need to come to the, the family reunion so we can sort out how we're going to spend this money that Michael Jackson owes our cousin. <laughs> so... <laughs> 
anyway so uh yeah so cab calloway when he first did it in 1932 it was called the buzz and so other performers like judy garland frank sinatra Fred Astaire, Sammy Davis Jr., and lots of other people, even Lucio Ball and Desi Arnaz have done The Buzz. They actually did it in a performance in 1972, The Buzz. And uh, somebody else did it in a movie called, um, I think, Walking Against the Wind or something like that. And they actually did a whole series of, you know, freaking movements and stuff like that as if they were being pushed against the wind so i'm like what 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 that's exciting i got hair all over me i'm shedding i'm shedding so anyway all of this watching Donnie yen in this movie led me to find out that the first person to actually do the moonwalk before it was called the moonwalk was Cab Calloway in 1932, who just so happens to be, as I understand it, a distant relative of mine. So I'm putting claims on him right now because um, I, I need to get paid. You know, I got student loans I need to pay off. So I'm putting claims on anything and every everything. I'm claiming every possibility. Right now, my hair looks terrible today. Let me see. This. I look crazy, y'all. Getting ready with me. I go to work. Make this cash money. Money, money, money. I like money. That's two things that drive me nuts is money and food, boo. <laughs> anyway, y'all Google it. Go on YouTube. Find all of the videos and you'll see for yourself. Look it up. Type in Cab Calloway Moonwalk or the origins of the moonwalk or whatever, and you will see for yourself, honey, it's jazzy. As a matter of fact, the people who did it in the 30s and 40s did it way smoother and better than Michael Jackson. Now, Michael Jackson, you know I love you, boo. Rest in peace. I love you. But, boo, the people that you stole that move from did it way better. And y'all will see when you look it up. Y'all be easy. Let me go make this money. I got to go heat me up a hot pocket because that's what's for breakfast this morning. And make me some coffee and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.